Hi, Mrs. Sandoval. Hi, Joey. I bought the ice cubes that he wanted for the the, the math puzzle. Not ice cubes. Blocks. Base 10 blocks. Like the ones we use for math puzzles. Let me show you. Like these. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a math puzzle, and maybe that'll warm you up. <laughs> I am a number less than 40. I have five ones and some tens. What number could I be? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> well, let's use our blocks. <laughs> so the first thing we need to know is what information was given to us that we can use. Well, we know that the number has five ones. So let's go ahead and bring in five ones. We also know the number has some tens. So we have our five ones, and now we have our tens, our one tens. So tens. And one, two, three, four, five ones makes 15. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. But wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You have to be very careful when reading this math puzzle. The problem says, or the math puzzle says, some. If we have some tens, that means we don't have just one tens. We have more than one tens. Oh. So we cannot have this as one of our possible numbers. Oh. So let's go ahead and bring another tens. So now we have two tens. And remember, we still have the number, the five ones. So two tens and five ones, that makes 25. But what if we have three tens and still our five ones? That makes 35. And let's again add another tens. Hmm. Four tens and five ones, that makes 45. But wait a minute, what number... Did I say I was? A number less than 40. Mm. Hmm. 45 is not less than 40. Mm -mm. So that is not a possible answer either. So our possible answers are 25 and 35. So, Joey, did that math puzzle warm you up? Oh, it sure did. Whoa! <laughs> Looks like that math puzzle warmed up the ice cubes a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, join us next time when we have more fun with these math puzzles. <laughs> yeah. I think I could put my goldfish in here. <laughs> Maybe my lizard.